we are Charlene Murphy and Ellie Kelly, two of Ireland's top podcasters. In this series, we dive into what our friends and followers are all thinking and talking about on social, over coffee and at our live podcast. This is Charlene and Ellie Go All In. All of us are online all the time these days. But with this constant connection comes a social media wild west full of digital drama. Is there a better way though? Can we make some rules of the road for the digital world? Ellie, we're obviously social media influencers, Mm -hmm. but there's not really a guidebook that you're given when you start social media of like what to do or like how to use it. No one kind of teaches you how to do it. Like I feel like it's all just, you learn as you go with social media. Yeah, and like what's right and wrong. Yeah what is acceptable, what's not, and things always change. Oh. Like things we used to post. Or the poses you used to use, duck face. Or like, I used to put lyrics of songs on pictures. And I remember I was about 13 and there was a Madonna song out at the time. And the lyrics on the picture were, my sex is a killer. What? Christ, <laughs> what? <laughs> Bye. Okay. I do wish there had been some kind of guide at the time of like, Things that you will be embarrassed about later in life, so don't do on social media. Yeah, if a guidebook was a thing, would people actually even follow it though? Mm. Like, would you actually stick to a set of rules that everybody has to abide by? Maybe we should try. Do you think we can attempt to make some sort of a guide? A generic guide? I mean, we have enough knowledge about social media. True. Experts we might be in the craft of social, but what's hot and what's not in other people's online behaviours? including the odd passing influencer like Sophie Murray and her boyfriend, Sam Bay. You want to know how many times a day do you both post on social media? Oh, that, <laughs> yeah. it's such a good combo. Yeah. It's never Five, on a month, ways. Like. Two or three times a day, definitely. Eight hours maybe in a day. Three, four times a day? Once, once a day. Maybe at the weekend if you were doing something? Whenever I go on holiday, really. Today's society, do we need a set of rules? I Probably for social media, so, now yeah. it's a few so much. How would you feel if you saw your girlfriend liking another boy's picture? No. You wouldn't be happy? <laughs> no, no, I think not yeah. Model in bikini on beach. No. Yeah, don't no. do it. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. No. Yeah. That, I, I don't think I would like it. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't fly off the handle, but I'd be annoyed. I wouldn't actually mind too what much. You know, much. Really? And do you just have any, like, icks about social media? You know what? Nastiness. Yeah, I'm so bored of people being mean. Just be nice to each other. Definitely be softer on like people on the internet. Oh, a lot of the or gym print. pictures yeah. would. Yeah. yeah? I hate when people take pictures of their food. No one wants to see our cuddle, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, a lot to take in, Char. It's obvious that this guide needs to be written and we need some professional advice. So we're in IADT to talk with cyber psychologist, Dr. Nicola Fox Hamilton. We're trying to find out the rules of social media. What are the rules and the guidelines? One of the ways we create rules on social media is social norms. And so, in other words, our behavior determines what the normal behavior is within a space. Like a following in a group of friends and they all behave in one way, other new people who come into that space understand that's the way that you behave. So if your space is very toxic, other people will see that toxic behavior and say, oh, it's okay to be toxic here. If it's a very friendly, welcoming space, they're going, okay, maybe toxic behavior isn't really welcome here. Yeah. So we actually create the rules implicitly rather than explicitly. So they're not written down, yeah. but we create them by our behavior. Who, who's really there to like police? social media and like it should be the social media platforms right but they really need to be doing better with moderation of toxic comments and that kind of thing why isn't there something in place that to create a social media account whatever app it's on upload a picture of your passport yeah. to prove that it's actually so, you why is that not a thing so we know that most companies get hacked at some point and their data goes out into the world we also know they sell our data to advertisers i don't want my passport being sold you know what? or released you into the wild my thought yeah. there yeah. anyway <laughs> it's in the same way with pornography people are like people should have to put a passport in to get pornography to avoid kids getting it and it's like do you want the porn site the porn having your passport, your passport? Yeah, probably <laughs> you probably yeah. don't do you think it makes us more insecure like compared to the older generation, like our social media use. I don't know that social media has changed us so much as that it just maybe amplifies some behaviors. Yeah. Um, and I don't know that it's necessarily bad for us, but like for some people, it's not great for them, but for other people, it's really good for yeah. them. So we're on a mission to create guidelines for social media. Do you think that's something that we will succeed? I think you can. But on the other hand, I don't think you can control people's behavior. So you can help most people understand better behavior and give them some assistance in doing things in a better way, Mm. but you can't control everybody. And there's gonna be some people who will be uncontrollable. 
chatting to Dr. Nicola was really informative. Yeah, she really opened the door Very for smart all things lady. social media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's a lot of food for thought, but if we're going to write the rules of social media, we need some help. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do it on our own. I wish we could. If it was just us, God knows. What no, would no, no. Yeah. What about like a focus group? Okay. Girls and boys, more opinions, not just us. General public, people our age can all come take a census. Right. Their thoughts and ideas, and yeah. we'll make the guide. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. So we've assembled two groups of regular social media users who have strong opinions on the subject. One all boys and one all girls. Hi. Welcome. Off the bat, like what are your social media like icks? I feel like it's always kind of hard to know how much of yourself to put out there. Overshare, it's like yeah. Uh -huh. So does it give you the ick if people do too, overshare too much? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Does okay. so anyone else yeah. agree? Or I agree with that. Yeah. What would you think about like a, a kind of check or before you post? So like if you like made it a bit more socially good. acceptable to do like a peer check with the boys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so make it number one. Peer check for every social media. <laughs> yeah. Do you think there should be a rule of when you're allowed to start social media? Like an age? 13, 14. Okay. I'd say older. Ideal world, I'd say like 16. Really? Okay. Like just because you're older doesn't mean you actually know how to use social media. True. Yeah. What about if you had to wait until you were, were like a legal adult to 18. use? If I could go back and delete my entire oh. online existence until I was 18, I would happily <laughs> would? do that. Exactly. I'd be delighted. Exactly. That. What about like after college years, starting social media then? Because it's very distracting during college and your exams. After you college. your first job. Okay. You that think that good. comments should be less generic? Our I think we should do what we should have like a, a set list of banned comments. Two, so we're banning all generic comments. On girls posts. Should couples have to tell you why they broke up when they break up? Yes. Yeah. If yeah. you yeah. change yeah. the profile picture, a paragraph needs to be released. <laughs> needs to be, yeah. yeah, at least on your story. That yeah. Anything else that makes your skin crawl? People using exclamation marks too much. Love oh, oh, marks. I love it. What are more things that would annoy you in like online dating? Emojis get me. People who send 10 million hearts. What okay. about men shouldn't ever like girls' pictures if they're in a relationship? The bikini that's, model. Okay. No, okay, that's a bit weird. Oh no, I think that's a little strange. Unless they're posting pictures of you. The What's picture is only allowed to upload if, if your girlfriend, if your girlfriend in is it. in it. Yeah. Should we bring back the follow and tab on Instagram yeah. where you can see what people are doing? Yeah. Because yeah, then people, yeah. make, people make their own choices where they still yeah. do it or not, but yeah. it's, it's in writing. So we have one rule left. The algorithm should promote all drunk posts. Breathalyzer on your phone. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Blow into the like, yeah. t-shirt yeah. on your phone, yeah. then you can open it. says, it. sorry, you're too drunk. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. If you can say it to someone's face, don't post it. Really? Oh. Okay. So, Because if you want to talk directly to a person, you can text them, call them, or knock on their door and tell them, because you do not need to be waiting for them to see it via an Instagram post. If you can say it to their face, don't, put it don't post it online. Yeah. 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 No need. That was a bit chaotic, it, wasn't it? Yeah. I feel like we really just went off on tangents. It gave us a, a little bit of insight, I think. Ooh. All right, you guys. Thank you so Thank much. The sashimi tacos wow. and the brisket tacos. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God, they look but yeah, I think we should go through the rules now. Okay. No social media or phone until you get a proper job. Peer check. Your friend's WhatsApp group must pre-approve every post. All breakups must be explained with a post or a story. Ban all generic comments. Emoji use locks your phone for a week. Stop posting exciting things with too many exclamation marks. Girlfriend must be in all guys' photos and no male selfies are allowed. Bring back Instagram following tab. Your phone locks when you've had a sip of alcohol. And if you can say it to their face, don't post it online. Do you think it's, it's ever like we're ever going to make a set book of rules for social media? Definitely not. Maybe we were all a bit ridiculous that day. I think we were. We need to meet in the middle somewhere, so I think we should go back and get them all together. I think so too. How are you doing? Good, okay? Oh my oh God. God. It's absolutely delicious. Good. 
Char, what do you think? They're a bit extreme. And for our guidebook to succeed, we need complete consensus on what the final social media rules are. So it's time to bring both groups together and thrash out which, if any, of their extreme rules are going to work. So the audience, then, what do you think? Would you follow the rules that we set out? No. no. <laughs> Why not? Our book is useless. <laughs> You've know. made them. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. some of them are funny and like they would stop people from doing stupid things, mm. but they're not realistic, no. I don't think. Yeah. Like you liked men selfies. I don't mind a man, man selfie. Yeah. Emojis. Well, I've stopped using the laughing emoji. I have to use an emoji or I feel like no, my the, message... The laughing one. The laughing crying. That one I will never ever agree with. You're screaming crying. The one you're, that you should be using is the sideways laughy one. That's crying laughing. Is that yeah. worse? Yeah. Yeah. That's, I'm just old, am I? I don't think I could ever get rid of emojis fully though. I don't know why we said that. That was a bit too extreme, Wasn't it? definitely. Yeah. I That's... feel like my message would just be so monotone, like I just sound like I'm... Bland. Nothing. Yeah. Would you stick to any of them? Is there one you think, yeah, I actually would stick to that? I feel like everything in moderation is like what you can take away from that, like the emojis, right. the exclamation marks, like selfies, everything a small amount is okay, but we if just you took do it too to much the next anything, level. Yeah, we took it a step too far, I think. So I suppose us not coming up with a set amount of rules has just told us how difficult it is and like how much maybe they're actually needed. Either that they're needed or nobody really has the right answer of what's right and what, what's wrong. Yeah. Like. So we all agree there might be more work still to do. There definitely is. But at least we're talking about how we use social media, so that has to be a good thing. Yeah, it's a, a step in the right direction.